In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for PSCl3. So the first thing we need to do to write the Lewis structure here for this PSCl3, we need to count the valence electrons. Phosphorus group 15, sometimes called 5A, it'll have five. Sulfur group 16, it has six. And then in group 17, we have chlorine with seven, and we have three chlorine atoms. 11 plus 21, 32 total valence electrons for the PSCl3 Lewis structure. So the phosphorus is the least electronegative element here. So even though it's written with the sulfur in the center, I want to put the least electronegative element in the center of the structure. So I'm going to put the phosphorus in the center. Let's put the sulfur over here. And then I have three chlorine atoms around it. Let's just put them like that. And then let's move this down a little bit. So we'll start by putting a pair of electrons between the atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond. So we'll do that, and we'll have used eight. And then we'll go around the outside and complete the octets on each of these atoms until we run out of electrons. We've used 30. We'll put the last two on the sulfur. We've used 32 valence electrons. Each atom has an octet. Seems like a pretty good Lewis structure. But we should look at our formal charges. And if we do that, we'll find the formal charge on the chlorines. They're all zero, but the sulfur is minus one and the phosphorus is plus one. So we'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. And if we move this pair of electrons here between the sulfur and the phosphorus, that'll make the formal charges on the sulfur and the phosphorus both zero. Now phosphorus does have more than eight valence electrons, but it can have an expanded octet, so that's okay. So this is the best Lewis structure or the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for PSCl3. So you need to take formal charge into account, especially when you see sulfur or phosphorus. That's always a good idea. Let's take a quick look at the molecular geometry for PSCl3. So the purple will be the phosphorus. So let's add three chlorine atoms, one, two, three. You can see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. And then let's add that sulfur on there. And the sulfur is a double bonded atom. There it is. This gives us what we call a tetrahedral molecular geometry. The bond angles for this should be 109.5. There aren't any lone pairs, so the electron geometry, that'll be tetrahedral as well. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. A is the central atom, the phosphorus. X, the number of atoms bonded. We have one, two, three, four. And E, the lone pairs. There aren't any lone pairs, so we'll just write zero. So if you look up AX4 on a table, you'll see that it's tetrahedral. The molecular geometry is tetrahedral. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and molecular geometry for PSCL3. Thanks for watching.